Well, I thought you never were going to wake up. Were you with a wagon train or a stagecoach? A wagon train? I... Oh, I thought I was done for. And then I saw you coming. It was a beautiful sight. Oh. You've got a stone cut. I put a bandage on it. No bones broken, though. When you're very efficient, Mr. Uh... Bodie, ma'am. Cheyenne Bodie. Oh. I'm Irene Travers. I guess we'd better get you back to the wagon train. Folks will be worried Look, about you. I'd like to rest a little while first. You mind? Tell me more about Cheyenne Bodie. Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm an army scout. Got orders to report to Colonel Custard, Fort Abraham Lincoln. Why, how nice. My, my father is a government surveyor stationed at Fort Lincoln. So we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Are you married? <laughs> no. I'm still looking. <laughs> you must be Miss Travers, ma'am. Uh, yes. Hey, Jorino's sure going to be glad to know you're safe. Then by all means, tell him I'm all right and that Mr. Bodie's bringing me in. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Major Reno is just an old friend. Uh, from what I've heard about Major Reno, he's not too old. Sergeant, I want a complete report on the damage and casualties. And uh, give me an estimate on how soon we can move these wagons out of here. Irene. Oh, oh you're hurt. I'll have the surgeon check you over. A corporal, commandeer a wagon. Oh, that won't be necessary, Mark. Mr. Bodie's assured me I have no broken bones anywhere. Cheyenne killed the two Indians who were abducting me. Oh, uh, Major Mark Reno, Mr. Cheyenne Bodie. This is Captain... I know uh, Cheyenne. What brings you this far from Fort Laramie? Hello, Fred. Got orders to report to Colonel Custard. That's about all I know. Can't understand the rush, though. The Sioux aren't cutting up any. The Sioux attacked a wagon train. And you say they're not cutting up? The Sioux are not to blame, Major. I know a Sioux when I see one. Corporal, are there any dead end ends around here? There's a couple out there in the brush. Let's go take a good close look, if you'll excuse us. We wouldn't have all these raids if Commissioner Brady would stop coddling the Sioux. They loot and they murder, and then they run back to the reservation where the army can't touch them, and where that soft-headed fool pats them on the back. Soft-headed fool happens to be an old friend of mine. And for your information, he's done more to keep peace in the territories than any other white man. <laughs> an army scout who believes in coddling the Sioux. That's one for the books, Fred. There you are, Major. Mm -hmm. Two braids bound up with beaver fur. That is a Sioux, Bodie. Maybe. It's a white man. Or a half-breed. He's an outlaw, Fred. The Indians call him the Gray Man. Had trouble with him on the Platte last spring. They dress up like Indians, then the Indians get blamed for their raids. You satisfied, Major? Captain Benteen, put a detail checking the other bodies. Yes, sir. Corporal. Bodie. Miss Travers and I are grateful for what you did, but, uh... Don't make the mistake of presuming on her kindness. Hmm? I'll take military orders from you, Major. But don't try running my personal affairs. <laughs> 